Today we're going to look at the window farm a little more in depth at each of the parts of it. Show you how I got it going. Show you mine here. It's got three uh, three growing pods on it there. Obviously nothing growing now. It's in my basement. Uh, each of these little things here, this is a water bottle that I cut the side out. And uh, I can't remember the brand, but it's the perfect size for these little uh, pots full of clay pellets which just sit right in there perfectly. So I can grow three once. Uh, good little setup. Uh, let me see, where shall I start? We'll start down here. If you look at the very bottom here, this electrical tape is holding down the end of one tube that's open at the bottom. And this is the main lift tube. It starts at the bottom and it goes right up the side of this dowel all the way to the top. And then loops around and goes into this pill bottle. Now the pill bottle acts like a little muffler. Uh, if you don't have the pill bottle, you'll get a gurgling sound coming out. It kind of can be annoying. But if you put this on there, and then you have some holes on the bottom of it there, it'll uh, cut down on the noise. Obviously mine has got a little uh, nutrient build up. I'll have to put a new one in there if I get this thing going again soon. Uh, down in the second one, I have this little contraption. It just helps the water um, go into the pot. If uh, you just leave them like this, sometimes you'll get splash out, and you'll see that in a second when I get them going. Uh, the other tube, which is very important, starts down here at this uh, air pump. It goes through here, I've got a little valve to control the air pressure. Out and around, loops around, and it comes out through this little uh, inflation needle that you'd say blow up a soccer ball with. And that needle is inserted into a little slot in the main lift tube. So basically the air will come through there and then exit through the needle into the main lift tube. Now what we do here is, if this whole contraption is sitting in water, which I'll show you in a minute, I've got these uh, 4 liter jars here, 4 liters right up at the top. This tube, if it was sitting inside, this tube would fill up with water from the bottom right up to the water line which would be about there and then when the air comes through the little bit of water that's between the needle and the top of the water line is pushed up the tube and then goes through the system and then at that point some more water will enter the uh, bottom of the open tube here and go up and fill that space and then some more air pushes it up and repeats the process <coughs> excuse me so we'll uh, Throw this in water and show you how it actually works here. Actually, a couple things I should point out before I put that in water. One of the biggest problems I've had when I first set it up was uh, when this tube is full of water and you've got some air coming out and trying to push some air or water up, sometimes the, uh, hold the damn thing still, sometimes the air will want to get down the tube and bubble out the bottom, and you'll see it because there'll be air bubbles everywhere. And uh, you can control that. Sometimes it, you can uh, put this pin in a little further or pull it out a little more. You don't want to push it in too far because it creates a bend in your main lift tube. Like mine, uh, it's in there well, quite far actually, more than half an inch or so. Uh, and then the other thing you can do is control the amount of air pressure you're putting in there and sometimes it'll help send the, uh, the water up the tube. So I'll stick this in water and we'll Turn it on and hopefully it works for the purpose of this video. So obviously this water doesn't have any nutrients in it. I'm gonna sit this here. Now I've got this dowel and the string all measured perfectly so, uh, so the bottom bottle here kind of fits in the lip there and holds. Now so we're in the water and this lift water lift tube that's open at the bottom will now be full of water right up to the top there and I'm going to put this down for another second put this in hope it still works there we go now she's on and you can see the uh, you can see the air pushing up the water and you can see it going up the tube there go up and you can see it going around the top there into our little muffler bottle. Now you can see it's dripping out the bottom there. If you have a plant there it's dripping in the perfect spot. Whereas if you don't have them sometimes you get the splashes out to the side and 
just uh, a little more water everywhere. So that's working pretty good. Again, I can control the uh, amount of air pressure going through. Sometimes if you want to make it go faster, uh, you can put a uh, timer in here as well. So you can, you don't have to water 24 hours a day. You do turn it on and off manually. But uh, then that works pretty good. I encourage you to watch my other video and see it in operation because it's uh, quite the growing machine if, if you get it going good.